What's going on guys? It's your boy Kirchner McCoy here coming today with a well an FPGA Friday update. So hope you're all doing well and fantastic wherever you guys are. How is it hashing? Well, maybe by now. I do not know. Because I'm recording this almost like a week in advance. Uh the Elysium um uh, stream might be out, so you may be on that currently. But that means we will have an update to this video here soon. So today we are going over strictly the E100 VU 35P. So I do own a E100 VU 33P. So I do not own one of these, but our boy over at Throughput Mining, uh, Flying Brian, does have one of these. And he did send us over all of the information to fill in our tables so we have all of the information on the e300 or e100 vu 35p so huge shout out to our boy over there at throughput mining for getting this over to us for the hash rates on kyla coin and etica for the vu 35p so pretty cool that he got these over to us he's actually working on uh ironfish Radiant, Caspa, and then soon uh, he'll be working on, of course, a lithium for those as well. I'll have a lithium for mine, and then we'll have it for the 35P as well, because he does own some 35Ps, uh, like the E300 version. So the big boy and then the little brother. All right, so super cool. But on Kyla Coin, you're looking at around at the highest of 296 watts for about 7.2 giga hashes and that is on the highest setting that you can do as well as all the way down on the lowest setting you're looking for about 98 watts which will net you about 4.8 giga hashes there on kyla coin now you can of course meet that in the happy medium and hit around you know 132 watts for about 5.6 to 200 watts for 6.4 giga ashes so overall not bad at all for the e100 vu 35p i do think it's probably pretty efficient and it doesn't have to worry about any kind of uh extra heat since it does not have any other uh, e100 or vu 35p boards inside of that container since it's like right in the middle it gets the best flow from the fan mine is actually to the side so i just only get the pass by of the fan so actually his does better than mine probably on cooling but i do run considerably less wattage uh, for etica now he was able to achieve uh, a high hash rate for the e100 v 35p 13 giga hashes for 272 watts or for the the full E300, which is all three boards, uh, you're looking around 39 giga hashes for 816 watts. It's pretty high in the wattage. I would imagine it would shut down like he was having issues uh, with thermals because I think he has the Noctua fan. So he was having issues with this. Now, these ones were immer in immersion fluids, so they didn't like do, they didn't really care, right? Now, on the low side, he was able to achieve for 89 watts, about 9 giga hashes on Etica. Or on the E300 version, you have 27 giga hashes for 267 watts. Super cool and uh, works pretty well. Now, of course, the earnings for this is not that great, um, but they are actually forking for emissions. So potentially here soon, um, this could be a viable bit stream forward. Um, some FPGA owners as it currently stands. So, there's that. Now, of course, you can buy the E300 and the E100 of the VU35P with the links down in the description below. Uh, you can get $100 off of, or $125 off of the E300 version, or if I'm not mistaken, it is $30 off of the E100 version. So, do look at those you can still also pick up the e300 of the vu33p for about hundred dollars off using the code down below but 
you cannot buy the version that I have just yet. Soon. Soon. But I hope this helps you out and gives you a good look at a good uh, lower entry price for an Osprey device as it stands. Now the when the E100VU33P comes out, it would be a cheaper version than the E100VU35P. So, as it stands right now, this is the best bang for the buck. Now that uh, will potentially change later down the road, but as of right now, it is the best. We'll catch y'all later, guys. Happy hashing. Keep your hash rates up, your watts down low. Stay cool, and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.